Andrew Huberman in the house. Gratitude sounds like complacency and people are like, oh, I don't want to be a navel gazer. I'm just, then I'm not going to be content. Then I'm only, excuse me, then people fear that they're not going to be, they're going to be complacent. Pursuit. They're like, oh, I'm just happy with where right. I'm at. But serotonin resets dopamine, which puts you back in the fight <laughs> and allows you to fight longer and further. And mm. I, I guess I'm doing this a lot today, but I've had the great um, you know, privilege of doing some work with these communities. If you look at high performers in these very high risk, high consequence special operations communities, they have gratitude practices. Really? They do. And they incorporate them. And so, you know, people think there's like some secret sauce or there's something, you know, and they are very unique individuals and very special individuals, but they, but they have those practices. They, they have the same them. tools that anyone can use. That's right. We all have these tools. So you do yoga nidra, you do gratitude practice throughout the day. What else do you do? So the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I actually is a gratitude. No matter what pops in my head, I reorient to being grateful that I'm waking up. I mean, you know, it's, uh, you know, I've had a number of close calls in life. I've lost people like everybody. I'm 45. So, you know, seen a lot of babies born, seen a lot mm -hmm. of, uh, People die, that's just the way it goes. But just, I express some gratitude for just waking up. Yes. Uh, and that puts me in forward motion. And then I can do things like make my bed, reward that, that I'm not doing something else that, you know, and start getting into things. And I tend to reward uh, relationships in a big way. Mm. My dog's 10 years old. I raised him wow. since he was a puppy. He's getting to, he's a bulldog. He's probably getting to the end. Wow. I try and really just focus on the sheer pleasure of, of having a yeah. bulldog. They're such characters and yeah. him in particular relationships of all kinds. Like if I spend time with people or just, I just try and think about mentors, people that got me where I, where I am. I do that all the time. And I'm pretty, as you probably imagine, I talk fast. I work a lot. I'm pretty intense, but I finish my days now not feeling ground out and depleted. Doesn't mean I'm grateful for every opportunity or everything that comes my way. I have to be conscious of it, but I think a deliberate practice that of relishing or enjoying what we have is so powerful.